is um, creativity. Like you don't have to do it exactly like mine. I can't even paint the paint, paint in the same because art is a representation of who you are in the moment, right? And we're all different in the moment, right? It's an expression of who you are in the moment. This painting is going to be valuable one day. Make sure you sign it and date it. I always forget to say that in the end. Somebody's going to be fighting over this painting. You might not believe it right now. So you can see I'm being real careful in between the ladies where it's going to be blue, okay? So I'm just outlining it. And then once I outline it, I'm going to paint the background in blue, I mean teal. I'm going to use a small brush in between the ladies and then in those small spaces. And then I'm going to take my sponge brush and I'm going to fill in the rest, okay? So outlining her. I'm taking a look at my reference photo. There's blue at the bottom around her feet. So I'm going to draw a little imaginary line there and cut off her dress there. So that right on top of the trace line, because we don't want anybody to know that you traced, okay? They don't need to know. Nobody needs to know this was traced for you. So right on top of the trace line, okay? So in between the ladies, where there's all these little nooks and crannies that I'm not going to be able to get to with my sponge brush, I'm going to use, and I'm using that flat, the middle brush that you have this whole time, okay? You have a detail brush too. You don't want to use that one. And then I'm just filling in these gaps because it's going to be too hard for me to get in between those gaps with, uh, with the sponge brush. Now, I'm going to take you 90% through the painting, okay? 90%, then you do the rest, and you tag me or email me, and show them to me, okay? I love to see them. You can find me on Facebook. You can text them to me. My number is in the comments or something on my page. You can email them to me at angelitepaints at gmail, okay? Okay, so I'm filling all those gaps where it's going to be hard to reach with my sponge brush. Okay. Just like that. Let me tell you why this is my favorite page. I'll tell you later. It's kind of long. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to take my sponge brush, because i got all the close places. I'm going to rest this brush in my water. I'm going to take the sponge brush, which just has water on it, I took my hand, but I should have took the paper towel. I'm going to squeeze the water out of it with the paper towel. I'm going to go into that blue paint, my Tiffany blue paint, and I'm going to paint the rest of my background in. Just using the tip of your brush. If you've invested in some bigger brushes, um, use that. I use the sponge brush because it's economical for me to put together the kit. And it gives us good coverage. Make sure you do the sides, okay? So I'm going to paint mine in and play a little nondescript music so they don't tag my video and bring it down and paint in the background try to play some music let's see if that works all right here we go
background covering. Now I'm going to smooth it out a little bit with my paint, my sponge brush. I can even add another coat out in the background maybe later if I'm not happy with it. If I want it to be a little bit more opaque, meaning no light coming through, okay? So now the rest, the entire rest of the painting is pretty much coloring with a paintbrush, right? We're not doing any like crazy shading or anything like that going on. This uh, reference photo is going to be your best friend, okay? I'm going to start by doing the lady in purple. Well, first I'm going to do her the brown faces, okay? So, you know, we come in many different shades. Totally up to you the way you want to paint these ladies. I'm going to go right into my brown paint and paint outline her face first. And then I'm going to paint it in. So once you do the background, you might want to put me on pause so you can catch up. I'm not sure. I painted her face in. Then I'm going to draw two little ones out of here for her hands because I don't want to forget to put those in there. Just two little ones coming out for her little hands. And then I'm going to paint in the other lady. Outline her face. Outline her neck and paint her hand. I'm trying to think if she has any hands anywhere that I need to put in. Her hand is going to come out right here on that tambourine. I'm just going to paint it in right now because I don't want to want to forget about it. It's kind of like in the middle of that sleeve. And then for the lady at the end, she's got a fair skin. If you're trying to paint this exactly like mine, this is when you're going to use a mixing tray a little bit, okay? So on the mixing tray, you're going to swish out your brush, dry it off. You're going to lift out a little bit of your white paint. And then you're going to take a little tiny bit of your brown paint. And you're going to get the desired level of brown that you want for this last lady. Which she's kind of fair skin, so it's quite a bit of white paint and not so much uh, brown. Okay? And remember I'm painting on an angle, so it's kind of tricky for me. And does she have a hand? She does have a hand. Her hand is coming out of her sleeve right at the top there. Okay? I love this painting. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to paint each of their dresses. So I'm going in on purple first. Now, every time you're changing colors, you're swishing your brush around in the water, and you're wiping it off on your paper towel. I'm still using this medium brush. I'm going to go with the lady right in the middle here in purple. I'm going to outline her dress. And then I'm going to paint her in. Outlining it first. Then you try to work with all the color that you have in your brush everywhere it goes first, right? So the only way, the only place we have purple is the lady in purple in the dress. And then there's some highlights, lavender highlights on the dress. So I'm going to paint the dress in right now. Just like I'm coloring, just with a paintbrush. Play a little of the same amount of script music there. I don't want to get in trouble while you are painting that in. Let's go.
just like we did with that light brown skin, we're gonna wash out our paintbrush really good in the water, swish it around, wipe it off on the paper towel, lift a little bit of white paint out of our mixing, out, out of our paint, and then go into purple, and we're gonna mix, can you see that? Mixing a little bit of purple in that white, and I got lavender. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make a belt with that lavender. I'm also going to put a little bit lavender at the bottom of her dress right here. I'm also gonna put a little lavender inside of her robe right there, that little armhole there. And there's also a little bit of lavender going on on the other side. You're gonna have to kind of paint that in. Just a nice little line. Maybe go back into your purple and put another line on the outside of it so it looks like a sleeve. You gotta do a little drawing on that side, okay? You want her hand to look like it's coming out there a little bit. Hopefully that wasn't too tough for you. And then just to show a little bit of the flow of the dress, you can put a few little lines of lavender in there. Now, if her dress isn't as white, I mean as dark as you wanted it, maybe you put another coat of of uh, purple on there to make it a little bit darker, okay? So, that is my lady in purple. Now I'm going to do the lady in, um, I think I'm going to do the lady in orange uh, next, and then the yellow, okay? So just paint along, just like we did the purple. I'm swishing my brush around in the water to change colors, wiped it off on my paper dap towel, and now I'm doing the orange. <laughs> white space in between everything, okay? 
Now I'm gonna go, I got the colors down on their dresses. Now I'm gonna go do their hair. I'm gonna outline their hair and paint it in. Okay, so I'm sure you need a few moments, so. Texture, a textured effect in her hair. 
okay? And you'll see what I mean once you get going on that, okay? So how do you get all those fun little things going on over here? Now here should be dry right now. So I'm taking a little detail brush and I'm gonna go into my white paint and I am just gonna put lines here and there for the flowers. And once you start working in that detail brush, you'll see what I mean. Just a few lines here and there around her head for the flowers. And we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go back into it and put the little yellow dots to make them look like daisies. But while I also have white on my brush, I'm gonna do these lines around, I'm gonna do some lines around the edge of this rose. And I'm also gonna do some lines down at the bottom, kinda giving a little fluffy effect Doesn't that look fun? I'm using this with that detail brush, okay? That tiny one. Into my white paint. Just some nice short brush strokes at the bottom of her dress. If you look really closely at the reference photo, there's like a few little flyaway, little fur, fur balls, little dots just coming out. There's also little dots, little twinkles in the background. Now, if you also look at this painting, we did not do, um, you can kind of see in the corner there, there's like a, a stained glass window. You can kind of play around with that if you want. I, originally when I made this painting, it wasn't for a paint party. And that stained glass window is a little hard to, to do. But if you want to put a cross in that top corner there or something like that, or if you feel adventurous, just kind of work on it a little bit. So that's why we're not doing that part. Also up in the sky there, you can see like a little northern star, kind of like a line there. One line going down, an X right over that straight line. That's all it is. One line down and then an X. Kind of like a little star. Okay? So, the next thing I want to do, I have white on my paintbrush still. I'm going to put a little, a few little accents in her hair, kind of showing where the flow of the hair is going. And then there's a few little motion brush strokes, kind of showing that her arms are moving a little bit. Now, with this detail brush, I really don't want to, oh, I got to put the little fluffy thing on this arm as well. And because I'm using a detail brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint in right around her hand for the middle part of that tambourine. All right, if I'm going too fast, you might wanna put me on pause, catch up a little bit. I'm switching that detail brush around in my water because I'm gonna work on that tambourine a little bit. On the outside and the end of that, the inside of the tambourine is dark brown. So I put dark brown on my brush, my detail brush, and I'm just making a line on the inside and some lines on the outside, kind of outlining my tambourine but doing it in brown. Rinsing my paintbrush off again, and take a look at your reference photo. The, the, the tambourine's a little tricky, okay? So with my yellow detail brush, I'm drawing little bumps on the tambourine. So you can see, I don't even know what things are called on the tambourines, but the little thingies that make all the noise, how about that? And just take a look at your reference photo, you can do little dots. This is an impressionistic painting, you're giving that impression that it's a tambourine. And because I have yellow on that detail brush right now, I'm going to go back into my little flower child here and put little dots for the flowers. So put dots in the middle, should be lines going around, but little short brush strokes going around there. And you'll see that effect when she gets to playing with it, okay? So look at that. We pretty much completed the painting. But this isn't finished. Look at her. You need to go back around it a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna apply another coat of brown on her face, work on the flowers a little bit, tighten everything.
everything up, make it look beautiful. And this is the praise painting. Okay? Um, let me give you a little bit. I'm just going to tell you a little short story behind it. This lady here in the middle is my brave friend. Her name is Matish Williams. If you want to put her on your prayer list, she has stage four breast cancer right now. And she's fighting. And she's a warrior. She's my best friend. And this is our spiritual guide right here. And this was supposed to be me. See the bunny soup in here. <laughs> so anyway, it was just a little motivational painting that I put together for my friend. And I call it praise. So if you're looking for a little hope, like we all are right now in these uncertain times, just take a look at praise and I hope that it makes you smile. Um, I've taken you about 99% through this painting. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did. Thank you so much for painting with me. Please subscribe to my channel, Angelique Paint. Follow me on Facebook under Angelique Daniels or the Shoe Chick Art Studio. And by the way, I'm the Shoe Chick Art Studio because when you paint with me, kids in Africa get shoes. Um, you can follow, uh, visit my website at theshoechickstore.com, see all the paint kits that I have available. And my phone number is on that little sheet that you got with all the paintings. I have 30 paintings that I offer. Uh, for paint parties. So on the very, very top is my phone number. Please text me your paintings. It's my absolute favorite part of this whole journey to know that you have fun painting with me. Thanks so much. Have a great day or week or evening or whatever it is. And thank you again for painting with me. Take care.